Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video might be a little lengthy, but it's worth your time. It's going to be an interesting video. Please watch till the end. This video is about a very high quality trade in which we are going to take trades based on the CPR. A lot of you have asked me for a supply demand zone video in which we base our trades upon the supply and demand zones. Now this video is particularly based on the supply and demand zones intraday. So we are going to wait for price to form a strong supply or a demand zone within intraday. And what is the best time for it? It is the opening candle. So let the opening candle form a strong supply zone or a strong demand zone. You could also call it either resistance or support. Whatever you call it, the trade will stay the same. What we are going to do in the strategy is you will be watching the price right from the opening candle, but you will not initiate any trade in haste or impatiently. Wait to see price action. In this strategy, the price will open at CPR and it is going to trade between CPR and either R1 or it is going to trade between CPR and S1. It's a simple strategy. I'm not going to explain anything to you verbally right now because it might sound very complex if I start explaining it to you verbally. Best thing is to go on the charts. I'll show you, first I'll show you in drawing format how you're supposed to take the trades and then I will talk to you about charts. I have made a presentation of charts for you in which I have marked everything that is necessary. I've also marked the risk reward ratio of the trades. You can see for yourself how good the risk reward can be if you implement this strategy with the correct rules applied. Just remember in this strategy that this strategy is based completely on the CPR and the S1 pivot or the CPR and the R1 pivot. So price trading below the S1 pivot or price trading above the R1 pivot, we are not going to take or initiate any trades on such days. So price has to stay in between the CPR and the R1 and or in another situation, CPR and the S1. There are two types of trades I take in this strategy. Uh, one is based on the demand or the supply zone and the other is based on the CPR magnet trade. So the CPR magnet trade, I will let you know what it is. I will tell you how to read this. See, in basic terms, whenever price opens and takes support at the S1, so if price opens with a red candle and it takes support at the S1, the price is going to reverse towards the CPR. Because CPR pulls price towards it the moment price finds a support. And conversely, if the day opens with a green candle and the price rallies up to the R1 pivot, then price is going to take resistance there and it is going to reverse because CPR is going to pull price towards itself like a magnet. So these are the two types of trades we are going to check out today. And we will see everything in detail and Ensure that you watch this video in full. Do not skip any part of it because you will not understand it. And again, you'll have to go back and watch it again. So to save efforts for the first time itself, watch the video. And in spite of playing it for the first time in full, if you don't understand, go back and replay the parts or replay the entire video as and how is necessary to understand all the concepts in this theory. Now, all these strategies that I'm releasing, these are high quality trades. So ensure that you know and you are accustomed to these structures that the price is going to make in the live market. And only then when you're confident that yes, you can read price properly, then go ahead and implement these strategies with your actual capital. Till then, just sit on the sidelines, watch price every day. On days when price opens at the CPR, see how price reacts. On days when price reverses from the S1, or reverses from the R1 after opening at the CPR, see what price is doing, how it reacts and only then start to think of, to even implement these strategies in the live market using your actual capital. Before we jump into the strategy part and the charts, if you have yet not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to it and definitely please share this video also with your friends and your family and uh, help to grow this channel. So. Let's dive into the charts now. See, in our strategy, these three lines are the CPR. And here is the R1 pivot and here is the S1 pivot. Now, whenever price opens between this range here, our entry is triggered. What happens in this is, if 
price opens between the CPR and the R1 and it takes resistance at the level of R1 then it is going to be pulled towards the CPR like a magnet. CPR acts as a magnet. Similarly, if price opens within the S1 and the CPR and if it takes support and gives you a reversal sign here, then there is a fair chance that the price is going to rally up to the CPR. Here, whenever you see that there is a red candle that has formed here like this, then you should mark off the high of this red candle because this is a resistance or a supply zone. So this is the supply zone or the resistance intraday. Why? Because price was pushed to that level from here to here intraday and then a support was given at the S1. Now whenever a candlestick comes and breaks through the supply zone which should be a strong candle this should be a strong candle now at the high of this candle you can enter so this becomes your entry and you can keep your SL below this candle which is the breakout candle and then you can take your profit or book your profit at the CPR generally the central pivot but if you have already covered 1 is to 2 by the time it comes to the bottom central then you can book your profit at the bottom central but generally it is seen that the price will rally up to the pivot point similarly if there is a green candle that opens within this zone and then it goes up like this and then here it forms this kind of a candle where it is showing some bearishness then you can see that with this wick the resistance R1 is holding and then if price starts to retrace like this it is going to come and reach the CPR so obviously this is not going to be the exact structure in which price is going to go I will tell you on the charts and then looking at the charts you will realize what I am trying to show you here you should go back and backtest these strategies and then use them in the live market so let's go to the charts now Okay, take a look at this screen. This is the 20th of October and you can see that here. I have marked all those dates there. Okay, you can take a look at those dates in the bottom left corner. And this is the Nifty 50 5 minute time frame. All charts are on the 5 minute time frame. Let's take a look at the price action and the trade entry SL and exit here. As I said before, this is the CPR. And as you can see, the first candle opens at the CPR and then it takes support at the S1 pivot. See, this is the S1 pivot here. So I will just name these pivots for you. It will become easy for you to understand. This is S1 that's taking support there. And this is S2 and the one that you see below is S3. This is the S3 pivot. The yellow line that you see here is the weekly pivot. Just ignore it right now. Now price went here. It started falling like this. It took support exactly at the S1 pivot. Now price has started to rise back to the CPR. Okay. I will just delete these drawings. So it will make it clearer. Now let's mark a zone. So this is the place where price made a resistance or you could call it a supply zone. So this is the place from which intraday price fell right and then price started to rise again here so exactly in the supply zone when price reaches that level see i will delete this again so that i can show you it has made this particular candle here this candle has a wick on the bottom and then this candle is formed this red candle marks the entry so what do you do after this candle is closed you have to wait for the close it is very important okay don't take an entry before the close you have to have a signal so price here made this kind of a pin bar and then below its low you take an entry and you have your SL give it some room this is the central pivot so keep your SL a little above the central pivot so if you can see here I have shown that I have taken a 45 point SL okay and here this is our target why is this the target 
that is the S1 pivot. Why is the S1 pivot the target here? The S1 pivot is the target because this it was here that price had taken support and bounced. So in this particular candle here, you can see that the price had achieved the target and you can see here the risk was 45 rupees and the target is 106 rupees roughly. So here in this area it shows the risk reward what does 2.36 mean that we have taken a 1 is to 2.36 trade so if the risk is 1 rupee then the reward is around 2.3 rupees so that is the way you should be trading i've always said in every video that you should take trades with a 1 is to 2 risk reward at the minimum let's take a look at the next example now this is nifty 16th November 21 now see here it is the CPR at which price has opened on that day and since the day has opened with this red candle within the CPR this entire CPR can be marked as a supply zone so whenever price comes to that zone it doesn't have to be the high of that candle whenever price comes to that zone and makes a reversal kind of a pattern you should initiate a short trade so see what happens here is sellers have pushed the price from the high of this candle to this level okay now here it is important to understand that this here is the s1 level i'll just mark it for you this is the s1 right this is the s2 and this is the s3 below now price has made these wicks on the bottom here you can see these wicks so it has come below the s1 pivot here this candle has come below the s1 pivot but can you tell me if you can see any selling strength in this candle here there is none in fact this is a nice pin bar even though red in color it is a good pin bar and this wick suggests that there are buyers on the bottom and then price was pushed up right and then price again fell down here so what happened was here I had said that the S1 pivot should be acting as a support but the S1 pivot was broken here so initially this low becomes your low where it took support from then this candle here becomes the support and then from this candle you should mark a line now this becomes the low this becomes the new demand zone so the new demand zone is here since price could not break that level and it bounced so this becomes the demand zone now this candle here breaks the demand zone but look at this candle can you tell me if this looks any in any way like a breakout candle see for example breakout candles should look like this i'm just giving an example a breakout candle should look something like this it should be strong it should not have these big wicks let me just delete these drawings immediately after this candle see let's draw this level here see these two candles here i'll just mark them out for you these two okay what can you see here these two candles mean that this is a red candle and this is a green candle this green candle has completely wiped out the a red candle and it has left it is left with this kind of a body when you combine these two candles so let me draw it here this exactly looks like this candle here this is a very small wick on the top and a very large wick on the bottom so what does this look like this candle now looks like a green pin bar now a green pin bar is a reversal sign so now you know that at the low it has made this reversal sign so you can be confident that the price has bounced from that level and it has reversed so obviously while trading you will know that you have marked the low here okay and this candle here does not show any selling strength it is not a strong candle and then you have seen the price bounce after it so you will not be initiating any trade at this point and then here when price goes to the top 
and in this zone as we had said this entire zone of the CPR being a supply zone when price goes and makes this candle here red candle now see what kind of a red candle it is let me delete all these drawings now and look at this red candle does it have any wick on the bottom doesn't it show a nice reversal sign again observe these two candles what does that candle show it shows that the entire green candle the body has been wiped out see this entire body has been wiped out completely so the buyers here have been wiped out and what does it show here this shows that there is a very small body left here and then there is a long wick here on the top now when you see this kind of a candle let me draw it here a very small body like this and a long wick on the top what does it mean I have told you that it means that it is a pin bar so it is a bearish pin bar so this is what the candle suggests that is how you should read price action and the moment you see that you should understand that the sellers have made the bearish pin bar in exactly the supply zone or the resistance level for intraday or whatever you want to call it that's it that's your signal to go short on this candle so the moment that happens you have initiated a short entry with your SL above the CPR and look at this the SL is around around 34 35 rupees and here is the target because you have to mark the low now here okay and you have to mark the low and that is where the target is that is where you should book your profit again you can see that we have taken a 2.52 reward here so it means that this is a 1 is to 2.5 kind of a trade where risk is 1 and reward is 2.5 so i hope you understand with this explanation how you should be initiating trade and how you should be reading price action thoroughly in the live market let's take a look at another example now this is 1st december and 21 and uh, see again i'll mark the levels here first a very wide cpr see here a very strong cpr wider the cpr stronger it is the first green candle opens right within cpr and shows a lot of buying strength so let me delete this so you can see the levels here see this is the low that the first green candle made and it is exactly at the central pivot this here is the r1 level so again our trade is initiated when price reverses before hitting the r1 level or after hitting the r1 level but it should not break the r1 level it should be between the cpr and the r1 so here where can you see price reversing back to the demand zone this is the demand zone here because price had bounced up to this level from here and then when price reverses and comes back to the same level observe the price action at that level now you can see that it has made this very strong pin bar and this single pin bar is enough to signal to you that this is a long entry because even though the color is red it's got a very nice and strong wick on the bottom showing that this is a bullish pin bar and then you can see the size of these candles here look at these candles massive candles why did these candles happen because a lot of buying came from the support level that is the demand zone so these are all intraday levels okay this is how you play intraday and you can see the entries here this is a nearly a 30 point sl here we've kept a 30 point sl around 85 rupees why did i book target here because my 1 is to 2 level had already crossed here so it's nearly 1 is to 3 actually but since we see this red candle here a strong red candle that is why we decided to book profit there and not wait for the price to go back to the swing high prior to it this is where the 
ideally the swing high is that is how you get your 1 is to 2 trades as long as you get 1 is to 2 it's fine and around 1 is to 2 to 1 is to 2.5 you can always exit the trade but as you can see we easily get a 1 is to 2 to 1 is to 3 kind of a trade and you should observe price action consistently and throughout while playing out this strategy now let's discuss the magnet trade so as you can see this is the 29th september and see price has opened within the cpr here's the cpr this entire zone is the cpr and this is the s1 pivot that's the support one and up top here is the r1 pivot all these blue pivots that you see are daily pivots okay so you can see that price has taken support at the s1 pivot after opening with a red candle two red candles take support at the s1 pivot and make a strong green candle here and then bounce you want to take trade where the buyers have overpowered the sellers now how do you know that the buyers have overpowered the sellers see anytime always remember if price opens between the cpr this is the cpr and the s1 pivot then if price is taking support at the s1 pivot most often here it will take buying and go back to the cpr because buyers are making it difficult for the sellers to push the price lower from this level from the support level itself you have to wait and watch for what price action is showing you so what do you do here you have seen that price has fallen from this level right so mark this high here now what you have to do is you have to look for a candlestick pattern which is a strong candle that can break out of that level why because you want to side with the buyers you are not sure yet isn't it before you are not sure which way the price is going to go you are not sure whether this trade is going to work out or not any trade can go against you but most often when price opens between cpr and s1 if it takes support at the s1 and bounces it will most often reach the cpr so this is a cpr magnet trade so now that you have marked the high see this candle has this candle broken that level no it hasn't right so let me delete all this let's check the price action here it hasn't broken that level so now instead of this high you want to mark off this high this is the high that you're going to mark so that you because you know that initially sellers were at this level now sellers have pushed the price from this level so the selling zone has come higher right so this becomes the days so far in intraday levels this becomes the supply zone here so let's mark the supply zone why is this a supply zone because price is repetitively being pushed from that level once it fell from here then buyers took it up up to this level and then from this level again it was pushed down took resistance again pushed down so this becomes a supply zone see now let me delete all this and i'll show you let's mark this supply zone again this is the high you've marked the high here right and can you see that can you see any candle that is breaking out of that level see again a wick here check this wick again a wick here now the supply zone needs to be deleted and it needs to be placed on the high of this wick so keep moving your resistance or supply zone higher see again the second time or the third time i would say the buyers tried to press the price higher and the supply zone now is shifted to this line right this is where the supply zone is and now see after this resistance is broken by this strong candle see how strong a candle that is when the resistance is broken you need such type of strong marubozu candles only then trust the breakout otherwise don't so this zone was broken by this candle here and why can you trust the breakout again as i said before you can see the level of consolidation going prior to the breakout see how much consolidation and now after the breakout when price goes up to the level at this point you can see that price has gone up 
and you are sure that the price is going to reach the CPR. Now here we are going to take profit at the central pivot here. Okay, that is where our profit level is. So price did come here. It did take some selling and then again came back to this level which is now the support. So see, instead of entering at the high of this candle, okay, and keeping your SL below it, instead of that, what you can do is a better thing to do is for better risk reward, you can check if price retraces back or reverses or pulls back towards around 50% of the breakout candle. So price did take resistance here, it fell, and then around this area, this is a better zone because had you taken an entry at this point, your risk reward wouldn't have been more than 1 is to 2. So the best place to enter is when price reverses and comes back in a pullback, you can enter a trade and as you can see, let me delete all this, as you can see, we have kept around 60 points of SL, that is the stop loss and we have gained around 152.7. So the risk reward again is higher than 1 is to 2. So 1 is the risk then 2.5 is what you have targeted for and achieved here let's take a look at bank nifty on the 23rd of november 21 now see let's study the 22nd of december first for a while see how big that fall is it's a very big fall isn't it from this level to the low it made here from here price was pushed up so after such a big fall you know that there is a major supply zone here and you can see that price has bounced from this level in spite of such selling right and it was a rally after this see obviously that was short covering so at this level now you mark a demand zone this is where you mark a demand zone and from the demand zone on 23rd when you see a red candle open like this and then you see this kind of wick on the bottom you know that there are buyers in that candle and then this huge green candle is formed what does this green candle suggest that there are strong buyers in this candle let us take a look at the levels before we proceed here see this one is s1 and our strategy is trading between the cpr and the S1 pivot. You are not going to initiate any trade where the S1 pivot is broken and price has gone below it. Now this was the high and this candle broke the high so you can take a long entry right at the high of this candle right here where I have marked because it is a very strong buying candle. The CPR acts as a magnet whenever price reverses before hitting or after taking support at the S1 pivot and then you immediately enter that trade you can see this candlestick here I have marked that area there so you might not be able to see it but try to locate this candlestick here it is a doji candle okay this uh, circle is coming here so you might not be able to see it but this is a doji candle and after that doji you can see how price has gone after that and reached the CPR. Now, if you want, you can also wait for price to reach the central pivot. I have already completed 1 is to 2 risk reward. You can see here the risk I took here would be 90 rupees and I am gaining 200 rupees here. The risk is at 1 and the reward is at around 2.2. This is the pivot point. Even if you had waited for price to reach here, that would also have been okay and you would have gotten around 1 is to 3. Now I want to show you a future trade but I have taken you back to the 3rd of September 21 and here I want to show you that price here had taken resistance at this level and had fallen down like this. See how heavy the fall was. This was as you can see here 100 points. See this is 100 points here. It has fallen and then after hitting this level here, this candlestick pattern was formed, which is a reversal pattern. So this red candle, the previous red candle here has been completely wiped out by the green candle here. And then price has again rallied up to this level here. 
and that is 128 points you can see here this is a v-shaped recovery that happened on the 3rd of september and you can see that this has happened intraday that is the kind of movement nifty had given intraday falling 100 points and then recovering 128 points that was 3rd of september now watch this level okay watch this level here you can see the price point here now let us go and check the day that i want to show you on which we wanted to take a trade now this is the 23rd november 21 chart now this was the level that we had marked here you can see it doesn't show the price label here but you know that it is between 17200 and 17225 it is the same level you can go back to the charts and back test this also look at the way the first candle has formed and look at the wick that has formed exactly at the demand zone so that was the demand zone why would why was it the demand zone here it is the demand zone because previously on the chart as we saw price had bounced 128 points from that point and price had not returned to that level again this was the first day that price returned to that level after that day that was in september and then you can see the follow-up candle here it's a huge bullish candle this shows extreme bullish strength now is the time to initiate your entry so look at this this is the s1 pivot this is the cpr so i'll just mark out in rectangular format this is the cpr and up top here is the r1 pivot and now after this level this high of the first red candle is broken you can see the kind of movement that happens here which shows that the price is going to be pulled towards the cpr and cpr is a magnet so buyers have overtaken the sellers at the demand zone and the demand zone is working if the demand zone had not worked it wouldn't have made such strong candles at the bottom so price has again bounced here and you can immediately enter at the high of this candle do not wait for any other candlestick to form and then you can place your sl let me clear this i'll just show you where it had given the breakout so this was the level where it broke out so your sl should be a little bit below it give it some room and then here you can see that this is a 40 point sl that was placed and it was 120 rupees target and usually in this strategy the central pivot should be the target so i have said that it should reach the central pivot but if you want to play safe you can book your target even then your profit would be 1 is to 3 but to be on the safer side you can book your profit at the bottom central pivot also this is the bottom central and this is the top central so this is the place where you can book your profit you have gained 1 is to 3 risk to reward here so that is how you should read price this is a very simple strategy again you have to ensure that price does not cross the s1 level if you are looking at a long entry and it should not cross the r1 pivot if you are looking for a short entry so as you saw a very simple strategy it has very simple rules you just have to learn price action observe the candlestick formations as i explained in the charts and in the video prior and only then start to implement this strategy in the live market it's a very simple strategy you don't need much efforts but you need a lot of patience because these trades don't come often they will come on their own days and you will have to wait for such days you will have to wait for price to give you such kind of price action on that particular day and only then initiate the trade till then don't lose patience don't force yourself to trade and protect your sl as i've shown in the video if you like the video please hit the like button please subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell icon and support this channel Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.